with a less than 6. Now, in our previous lesson, we learned about transfers. Today, we are going to learn about chromatic nodes and the solfage naming convention. What is the difference between these two? The other time, we learned about the English and Dutch naming convention, and today we are learning the solfage naming convention. Under the English and Dutch naming convention, we're going to know that we have the natural nodes being A, B, C, D, up to G. And we learned about accidental nodes being the C sharps, D sharp, and the rest. Now today, our natural note for them, uh, under the surface naming here, is going to be Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti. Remember, we are going to play within a scale. And today, the main topic is finger placement on the keyboard. We are start. We will start with a right hand coordination to see. I'll play it on the keyboard for you to see. Now, the natural notes here, we have Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, as I said. And for us to make it from monotonic scale, you have to add do to it. You have to add do to it. So here is it. You have do re mi fa so la ti do, making it monotonic scale. So that's it. So let's go on the keyboard as I play with the right hand before we do the left hand. Let's start. Okay. Uh, now, as, as I said, we have the monotonic scale being the do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, up to do. The only difference between it and the natural root is that the natural root ends at ti, and that's why we repeat the first root being do to it. Before we start everything, we have to learn the part of the fingers, the part of the fingers, so that it will make our learning easier and faster for us, the part of the fingers. Let's start with the left hand. This finger is called thumb. This is the thumb finger. We have the index finger. The index finger. This is in the middle, so it becomes the middle finger. This is where ring is put. It's being put. So we have the ring finger here. And the last three we have the pinky finger. I'm taking it again. This is thumb. Index finger middle finger, ring finger, pinky finger. The same for the right hand. Starting from here, here will become pinky finger, ring finger, middle finger, index finger, and a thumb finger. Let's start. Let's start with the uh, left hand, left hand finger placement. This is how the left hand goes. Remember this, contemporary music and it's different from that of Kura. Let's assign numbers to it. We have a do, mi, fa, so, la, ti. It is eight in number. So the first, the finger is also five. One, two, three, four, five. So this is how we are going to do it. We use the first five fingers to play it. Then the last three fingers, starting from the middle finger, we we'll also continue in that form. This is how it is. We have to remember this. You see, fa, so. I'm taking it again. This is C major. Do. I'll show all the notes with the right fingers to be to use to play on the screen. So make sure you look at that. Now do. So you play do with pinky, red, red finger, me. Okay. Do, re, mi, fa, so. 
Also going to be. We are starting from here. Remember the two black in front of the two black. You have C. So this was C and this was C. So this is how it is going to be. That one is the opposite of this. So instead of it being five plus three, it's rather going to be three and five. Three and five. So this is how it is. We have. The
So there is a left hand finger placement and there is a right hand finger placement. Now you are going to combine both. But before you combine both, take your time, make sure you have gotten the left hand very well and also the right hand very well before you combine it. If you are not done, don't rush to do it. Remember this rehearsal how you are doing and you have to continuously practice it. So let's start now. Let's start now as we combine both. So this is how it's going to be. Now you are very well good on the left and you are very well good on the right. So this is how it's going to be. I'm taking slowly. Do Let's play it back. This is how it's going to be. 